Yeah, today the postal inspector told me they're still trying to investigate and work to figure out whether or not absentee ballots were stolen from those blue collection mailboxes over the weekend in our area. I spoke to a registrar to find out what you should do if you find yourself in a similar situation. What's going on? Right now, United States postal inspectors work to find out who broke into blue collection boxes outside six different post offices in Henrico, Richmond, and Chesterfield over the weekend. I read it as another way uh, to get voter suppression. Um, and that may not be their motive, but it certainly was the first thing that came to my mind. The one thing that we have had issues with is the number of phone calls where people are very concerned about their vote by mail ballot. Teresa Smithson serves as general registrar in Hanover County. One ballot, one vote, one person. She says it's not uncommon for someone to lose or misplace their ballot. We literally had someone call and say that their dog ate their ballot. So we are able to replace that. She says if you need a new ballot, you can request a replacement from your local registrar. We have a form that we will email them. Uh, they'll get the form, they'll fill it out, they can email it back to us. They will also mail you a form if you don't have internet access. But what if you don't want to send your absentee ballot via USPS? Hope is not all lost here. No, not at all. If you want a ballot by mail, it's safe. You have different avenues in which to get that back to us. She says you can hand deliver your absentee ballot to the registrar's office or your polling place on election day. The safest way to do it is use one of the drop boxes that's outside of a general registrar's office because it is under surveillance. You can also track it online at elections.virginia.gov. Each vote is very um, important that we make sure that they're able to get that voice heard. So far, I've heard back from the registrars in Henrico, Hanover, and Chesterfield. Good news tonight, all confirming that none of their voters have reported any of their ballots stolen from those boxes. Working for you, I'm Brendan King, CBS 6 News.